Well, here's a current question in the uh, Harry and Meghan universe. Are Harry and Meghan imploding? Well, look, like Prince Andrew and Donald Trump, they are never far from blogging and journalistic fascination. We, uh, we cover them week to week, even day to day. Some of their moves, well, they seem outrageous, but to others, fascinating and admirable. But are they taking it too far? Have they found a permanent place in the world's psyche? Let's look at the two points of view. Well, first of all, the one that says, yes, yes, I'm afraid they are imploding. The recent trip to New York was an example of really bad management. Uh, Megan wearing a $4,000 coat while reading her book to underprivileged black children. I mean, who is advising them? They're, they're obviously not mature enough to work it out for themselves. And here's another one. Uh, for, for years, uh, Harry has waged war against any media, any media organization, which in his eyes demeans the memory of his late mother, Diana, or exploits her life for commercial gain. Now, Diana the Musical. In the eyes of many, the most denigrating portrayal of the late Princess of Wales in fiction since her death in 1997. And it's a Netflix production. There are also questions about accuracy. Even though it's musical entertainment, it's still portraying a real-life saga, one perpetually before her eyes. I'm afraid it would be hypocritical for him to refrain from criticizing it, but will he bite the Netflix hand that feeds them? Uh, Their lavish lifestyle, the very expensive clothes, the jewelry, the private jets, private security guards, and so forth. Again, it's a sign of mm, immaturity in that they're trying to live like extremely wealthy people among extremely wealthy people, while they are, by California standards, only modestly affluent. Then there's this strong desire, even insistence, on a royal christening for the second baby. And that just doesn't make sense for a couple who have uh, turned their backs on royalty. They had to give up on that idea. You know, are they royal or are they not royal? You know, what's, what's going on there? And on top of all this, one has to worry about Harry's immigration and tax status. Um... These are not easy issues in the U.S., as I know. Uh, He seems poorly placed. He's never had to worry about such plebeian factions as uh, functions as paying taxes and to grapple with matters such as these. He's probably objectively uh, ignorant of the rules. Look, Harry has been consistently courting our support and sympathy in the midst of a global pandemic that has made the richest richer and the rest of us poorer. His his attitude and lifestyle, aided and abetted by Meghan, is simply out of sync with the rest of the world around him and the message he is trying to promote. Not too long ago, he was the most popular member of the royal family. He isn't anymore. And in a celebrity world where appearance is everything, uh, that, that must be hard to take. Well, what about those who say, no, they are not imploding? Uh, well, look... They are at the top of the celebrity heap, having been on the cover of Time magazine, for heaven's sakes, topping an article on the most influential people. How can you beat that? Um, Also, they are seen as thought leaders on socially sensitive issues, sometimes, in the eyes of some, disparagingly referred to as woke, but but, uh, issues of today. And as such, they have a huge following, especially among the young. They are today's social and political role models. Harry and Meghan are just hitting their stride. Their, their commercial success uh, and social impact is unique. It has nowhere to go but up. Well, what's my take on all of this? Well, to me, it's fairly straightforward. It's about the business. A number of their literary ventures will see the light of day over the next year. There's Harry's book, Uh, There's the first Archwell Netflix series, Heart of Invictus, which follows athletes preparing for the 2022 Invictus Games. It's their adventures and endeavors on Spotify. There's Megan's Netflix series about historical women called Pearl and so forth. Until then, until they come out, the jury is pretty much out. and, And if they're not commercially successful, they'll be in deep trouble. And at the end of the day, like it or not, it's all about money. So, we will see. 
well, uh, that's how I come out. Kind of brutal, I suppose, but uh, I think that's really what's going on here. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, do the usual stuff. Uh, please subscribe and comment and, and like and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>